All right, Petter, what are we talking about today? Um, let me check the schedule. Wait, is it 2024? Yeah, why? We haven't done our anime awards yet. Oh, crap! How did we miss that? I don't know, but we gotta do it now. Time to power up. <sighs> <sighs> You ready? Do it to it. Hit it! Welcome back everyone to Mommy Manga Video. I'm James and this is Petter. Hey there. And today we have another special episode for you. It is our Umami Manga 2023 Anime Awards. Hooray! Yippee! A little later than last year, but that's okay. We needed a little bit more time to really dive into the anime that came out this year and honestly actually have some things to award. <laughs> Let's be honest. Didn't Absolutely. Want to, <laughs> didn't want it just to have a situation where it was only one or two anime that was winning everything. Uh, but we're pretty proud of this list. After much debating and discussion, we think we have a varied list that... Uh, I think a lot of people will see their favorite shows represented in. Just to clarify on what anime would qualify for this, we are only doing anime that came out in the year 2023, or at least concluded in the year 2023. Nothing that actually went past 2024 will be nominated in this video. So shows like Fiden, that'll be for next year. Shows like To Your Eternity Season 2, that is nominated for this year or at least is eligible for this year. So we will see if it actually Indeed. placed anywhere. <laughs> to clarify further, any anime movies, for example, that came out in 2023 in Petter and Mai's part of the world are also eligible for nomination. And with that, I think we're ready to kick off our show. Petter, why don't you give our first category? Yes, the first category is Best Animation. And the nominees in this category are Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Pokemon Concierge, Vinland Saga Season 2, and ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead. And the winner of Best Animation is Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Now, we all know, or at least everyone who was even remotely invested in the anime, MAPPA suffered for the quality that they put out for the animation of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. They, 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 they went above and beyond in, in maybe too many ways? Like, d did it have to be this good? I guess it didn't have to be, but it, it is. They went very far and it shows. This shouldn't encourage overworking oneself in order <laughs> to create amazing quality animation, but right. the fact remains that the quality is top-notch and, in our opinion, deserves the award for Best Animation of Anime from 2023. Alright, moving on to our second category, Best Narrative. And the nominees for Best Narrative are... Attack on Titan, the final season, the final chapters. Kaguya-sama, Love is War, the first kiss that never ends. Pluto and Vinland Saga Season 2. And the winner for Best Narrative goes to Vinland Saga Season 2. Oh boy! If you guys know how much we love Vinland Saga, you knew it was a shoe in to win this category. Maybe that's a little biased. Oh, it's, it's extremely biased, let's be honest. However, the anime adaptation of Vinland Saga Season 2 has been phenomenal in so many different ways, and narrative in particular, it is fantastic. One of the best, not only animated series, but best storytelling that we've seen in anime up to this point. The journey of Thorfinn and the other characters throughout the entire season is one that will, I think, go down in history as one of the greatest stories of, I guess, manhood and, and, and finding oneself to ever be told. There's so many characters that contrast each other and it's fascinating to see their, I guess, their rise and their downfall and also their healing process throughout the anime. So if you haven't seen it yet, please go and watch it. It is honestly life-changing in a lot of ways. The next category in our anime awards 
is best score, best music. And by this, of course, we mean the music that's in the episodes. We're excluding the openings and endings and whatnot for this category. And the nominations here are Attack on Titan, the final season, the final chapters. Pluto. Skip and Loafer. And Vinland Saga Season 2. And the winner of Best Score is Vinland Saga Season 2. Yes, another one for Vinland Saga, but for this soundtrack, Yutaka Yamada returned as the composer. Uh, as he also did the music for the first season of the Vinland Saga anime. And they are both masterful soundtracks, truly. Uh, the, the first one he did for the first season stood on its own exceptionally well, and this second one elaborates on it, or kind of build, builds upon what he did for the first one in a beautiful way that suits the themes and the events, I guess, of the second season phenomenally. Like, there's so much in this part of the story, uh, there's good things like there's love, there's friendship, there's brotherhood, but there's also very awful things like there's violence, there's betrayal, there's hatred. And the music encapsulates and, and elevates all of these types of emotions and, and things in, within the story to the point where really I think it, it touches our hearts incredibly. Yeah, I, there was definitely a lot of moments I was crying in Vinland Saga Season 2, part in thanks to the music. It was that emotionally driving, I'd say. Our next category is Best Opening. The nominees for Best Opening are... Usotsuki by Leo Ieiri from The Fire Hunter. Specials by King Nu from Jutsu Kaisen Second Season Opening 2. Idol by Yo Asobi from Oshinoko. Mellow by Kena Suda from Skip and Loafer. And the winner for Best Opening Sequence goes to Specials by King Nu, Jutsu Kaisen Second Season Opening 2, Storyboard and Animation Director Yuki Kamiya. When I first heard this opening, I wasn't too crazy about it, which kind of is a theme for me, it seems like. It, it takes me a while to grow into grow into something. But this one not only grew into me, it, it turned to a worm and crawled into my ear and it's stuck in there for a while. And it kind of did that for the internet as well. This was the new meme song for a bit. People were traumatized with the, you are my special. You know, that, that whole sequence uh, really got into people's minds and if you've seen the second season of Jujutsu Kaisen, you know why. But it's not just the song itself, it's also this incredible opening. There's one sequence in it where you have the main characters, pretty powerful characters who all do different signs with their hands. And it's just this very fluid and almost psychedelic moment. And you end with Gojo's eyes piercing blue through, through the darkness. And it just is so incredible really incredible storyboarding and animation along with a really catchy song and that's why it wins the best opening for 2023 and next we're moving on to the best ending sequence of 2023 and the nominations are shoe cream funk by philosophy no dance from mashal magic and muscles hanauta to mawari michi by rikako aida from Skip and Loafer. Totome no Ichigeki by Bondi featuring Cory Wong from Spy Family Season 2. And Without Love by LMYK from Vinland Saga Season 2. Ending 1. And the winner for best ending sequence is Totome no Ichigeki by Bondi featuring Cory Wong from Spy Family Season 2. Storyboard and animation direction by Eugene Winter. Now, this ending sequence, it's just a, a visual and musical treat all around. I think for me, it's especially the music, because I, I think it, it's just so groovy and sweet and just nice. It's right up my alley and uh, just a treat to listen to. I, I don't, I don't want to make ending sequences sound lesser than opening sequences necessarily, but I feel like usually most most of the time. Less less effort is put into ending sequences. But this one 
I, that, that's not the case. I feel like it's right up there with a lot of opening sequences in terms of effort being put into it and just the joy that it sparks with the visuals is incredible. It's just like the show, wholesome. For sure. Moving on to Best Voice Actor Performance. And the nominees are... Hina Kino as Midi Unasaka. Marina Inoue as Armin Arlert. Rie Takahashi as Ai Hoshino. Shunsuke Takauchi as Einar. And the winner for Best Voice Actor Performance is... Marina Inoue as Armin Arlert. Maybe a surprise to some because a lot of people are going to be giving it, or at least giving a nomination to Eren's voice actor, Yuki Kaji. But to me, when I saw those final chapters and was really getting emotionally invested into it, the one voice actor that stood out, I mean, they all stood out, but the one that really even stood above them of their exceptional performance was Marina Inoue. She nailed his arm and you can feel the pain in Armin's voice as he was really dealing with self-doubt, self-hatred, but then turning it around and finding the joy in the world, enjoying the little things in life. And just really his demeanor throughout the final chapters was so emotionally invested that I think uh, Marina just nailed it. Nailed what, who Armin is, what he stands for, and the final season of Attack on Titan would not be what it is without her. Moving on to the next category, being Best Girl of 2023. And the nominees are Arn Haid, from Vinland Saga Season 2. Kaguya Shinomiya from Kaguya Sama Love is War The First Kiss That Never Ends. Kana Arima from Oshinoko. And Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan The Final Season The Final Chapters. And the winner of Best Girl 2023 is Kaguya Shinomiya from Kaguya Sama Love is War The First Kiss That Never Ends. Most of the reasons here are major spoiler reasons, to be fair, so I can't go <laughs> really, I can't, I can't give a solid motivation as to why exactly we made this pick here, but trust me when I say, Kaguya Shinomiya is one of the most well-written fictional characters that I have ever had the pleasure of witnessing, period. What we see of her in this movie is possibly the peak of her, of the writing of her character, possibly. I mean, obviously, it's it's debatable, but it's way up there and it adapts possibly my favorite volume of the entire manga. And she is the star of it. So she is well worthy of this award, in our opinion. There was a lot of nominations for this one. It was hard to choose, narrow it down. There was bloodshed on both sides on who should be best girl, but in the end, I'm okay with Kaguya. I, I think it's a fantastic choice. Oh, Mikasa. Next up is Best Boy. You have Best Girl, Best Boy. Now it's my turn. And the nominees for Best Boy are... Armin Arlert, Attack on Titan, the final season, the final chapters. Kahaku, To Your Eternity, season two. Taiyo Takada, My Clueless First Friend. Thorfinn, Vinland Saga, season two. And the winner for Best Boy of 2023 is my boy, my man, the legend, Thorfinn. Of course it's Thorfinn. We just hyped up Vinland Saga and the narrative, and you don't think we're gonna nominate Thorfinn as Best Boy? Get out of here! His journey, his story is legendary, and he truly makes Vinland Saga the masterpiece that it is. I get emotional every time thinking about his journey from the, the lowest of lows, to, he doesn't even reach the highest of highs really in, in season two, but he does find something that's very beautiful. Maybe something that you don't see too often potentially in anime nowadays. Something that doesn't really have to deal with romantic love. Something a little different. So for that, and for many other reasons, Thorfinn is best boy. Here, here. Now moving on to the next category, best movie of 2023. Our nominations are The Boy and the Heron, Kaguya-sama Love is War, The First Kiss That Never Ends. Maboroshi. Sword Art Online The Movie, Progressive, Shurzo of Deep Night. And the winner of Best Movie 2023 is Kaguya-sama Love is War, The First Kiss That Never Ends. Probably 
not at all a surprise either. We are obviously big fans, and as I was saying when I was awarding Kaguya herself, this is peak, kind of. It is a peak, at the very least, of the Kaguya-sama story. And to many, it is the peak. And, you know, for a reason, it is it is so widely beloved by the Kaguya-sama fans, because it is a masterful part of the story, and it's beautiful in so many ways. I wish I could go in and explain more about the spoilers, but I won't. Uh, I will... I will save whoever hasn't seen it, and I will urge you to watch or read Kaguya-sama, Love's War. Start from the beginning, don't start with the movie. You gotta start with season one, go through all that. Trust uh, absolutely me. Absolutely you do. <laughs> trust me, it's worth it. Absolutely, this, this movie is pretty incredible. And now we're moving on to the most surprising hit. This one, this category is maybe a little bit different. It's an anime that came out in 2023 that we didn't either see coming or it's pretty brand new to the scene. And our nominees for the most surprising hit are... Heavenly Delusion. Hell's Paradise. Skip and Loafer. And Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. And the winner for the most surprising hit of 2023 is... Skip and Loafer. To me, I thought it was going to be a heartwarming and interesting one. Maybe a little generic, but I didn't think it'd be bad. I didn't think it would really impress me, though. But it did. There's so much to this little slice-of-life rom-com. And I, I even call it a rom-com? It's more like a slice-of-life romance. A coming-of-age story for our main character, our main heroine, and the boy she ends up meeting. And it's not just about them. It's also the cast around them. These high schoolers that are really coming to their own, understanding who they are, what they like, what things are okay, what what aren't. And it's it's truly a a special story about youth that I think everyone would enjoy with a little bit of a sub context of romance. I, I, I feel the romance will happen in later seasons. <laughs> Not so much in the first season, but it's definitely there's a definitely a little subtle hints of it. So if you like those kind of stories, I recommend Skip and Loafer. Now we get to Maybe the hardest category of the bunch. Yeah. The one for the most disappointing anime of 2023. Happy James it's presented me. it last year. Ain't <laughs> me. Ain't me this time. This time, this time, I guess, I guess I'm taking all the blame uh, for wh whoever we are rubbing the wrong way this year. <laughs> the nominations are the boy and the heron, the girl I like forgot her glasses. Suzume and To Your Eternity Season 2 and the winner of most disappointing anime is The Boy and the Heron. Come at me? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> to be quite fair, I believe both James and I were quite disappointed yes. in this film. James is a bigger Miyazaki fan than I. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, so I think maybe James had higher expectations on this. Me personally, I'm not all that into Hayao Miyazaki's films. But I didn't go into this one with, with, with particularly high expectations. That said though, it's still a Ghibli movie and I'm, it's not like I hate most of his films or anything like that. So I, I still wanted to enjoy this. And sure, it's very beautifully animated and, and visually pleasing to the, eye, to the eye, but I think both James and I kind of were very unimpressed by the narrative and characters and the, the portrayal of the story in general, kind of. I'll echo Petter's thoughts in that the animation is gorgeous. Some of the best that we saw this year and probably Miyazaki's masterpiece in that way in terms of animation. It was it was truly gorgeous, but the narration greatly struggled, just like he said. So come at us. I'll defend Petter on this one. Yes. Uh, uh, well, let's ha we'll have a great discussion about it, all right? <laughs> yes. And finally, to end it all off, we have our top three anime of the year. There's so many to choose from, and it was such a struggle to narrow it down to only three, but we believe we have a good final three for you. Our number three anime of the year is Attack on Titan, the final season, the final chapters. I had to squeeze this one in somehow. I adore Attack on Titan. It was one of the anime that got me in to manga, anime, and all this entire community. And to finally see it conclude the animated portion 
was truly special. Mappa, I had some grievances at the beginning of the final season, but you came out on top, you did fantastic, you really made all the fans proud of your work, along with all the voice actors and composers, and I believe it's actually a better ending than the actual manga, which I've always liked, but I feel the anime tied some loose ends and cleared up some things to where readers and watchers can be more comfortable with some of the character choices. So that's our number three. Yes, and well worthy. And as you said, it's the finale of frickin' Attack on Titan. Like, yeah, come on. Come on. It, it's, it's, it's huge. It's a huge thing. They nailed uh, it. So yes. Hit it out of the park. They did. They really delivered. Absolutely. And that brings us to our number two anime of the year. And this award we give to Oshi no Ko. It was a huge hit, <laughs> let's face it, of 2023. It was one of the bigger anime that a lot of people were talking about. The manga of it was probably already, I mean, it was decently popular, but I think it blew up in popularity. Just the, the, the franchise as a whole. It's so well done too. Like one of the things that I was kind of nervous about, I remember before watching the anime, was that they would be doing a lot of 3D models for idol dance parts because that's something I've seen in other idol anime that they do. They, they switch to 3D models suddenly for, for choreography, uh, which is kind of jarring and I personally dislike that, or at, at least when I notice it. To be fair, I, I don't know, what if they did that with this one and they just did it so well that I didn't notice it? If they did, props to, to the animators, but I don't think they did. Uh, I think it, it looks it looks 2D and it doesn't clash with the other 2D animation of the series. Strange enough, that was one of the big things, but th there's, there's a lot of other, uh, other things. I love the voice acting uh, across the board and the opening, as we said, is such a perfect opening for this story. It like sets the tone for this narrative as a whole, kind of. And all the characters that were brought to life in the anime medium was, was done brilliantly. Uh, one of our favorites, as we had a not nominated Kana Arima for Best Girl. She is one of the characters that really carries the story, and seeing her brought to life with motion, with a voice, uh, was another one of the highlights that was just done excellently. Absolutely. Don't get me started on the ending, but everything else, <laughs> I'm good. And, and I mean the ending song, not the, not the actual ending of the anime. So we have our number three, we have a number two, it's time! For our number one anime of the year, can you guess what it is? The number one 2023 anime of the year is Vinland Saga Season 2. There are few adaptations and really anime series that I adore as much as Vinland Saga Season 2. It is part of an elite list of anime series, elite list of 10 out of 10s. It is a masterpiece fantastic. Every minute detail is combed over by this team. They really cared about the material they were adapting. They filled in some of the gaps. They worked with Yukimura. They, they really thought about how do we get the best product out of this fantastic manga. And sometimes you don't have those 10 out of 10 anime that match the, the manga. That's not the case here. This is one of the best anime I've ever seen in terms of animation music, story writing, voice acting, it is truly the best anime that I watched this year. If you haven't seen it, please go into it blind as much as you can, watch season one, get that context, and witness the masterpiece that is season two. This was one of the categories where James and I completely agreed. We had it's the true. same top pick for this category and there was no need for a fight of any sorts for this one. <laughs> we, we, were, we were very much in agreement here. <laughs> it helps that, we've, that we follow the manga on Umami Manga Podcast, you know, it, for me it's a, you know, dead, uh, dead manga, I think it's the same for Petter, but absolutely, it, we, we adore it and feel this anime did more than ju justice. It stands out as an incredible product all on its own. So congratulations to Vinland Saga Season 2 for winning the Umami Manga 2023 Anime of the Year Award. And that is our award show for you today or whenever you're watching this. 
We thank you so much for watching and joining us as we share with you our favorite anime of the past year. But we want to hear from you. What were your favorite anime series of this year? Were they represented here? Please let us know in the comments below. We cannot wait to do this again next year because there is already a huge lineup of anime that we're watching that are actually really good. So can't wait for 2024's Anime of the Year Awards as well. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time on Umami Manga. See you later. Bye-bye.